Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to solve the recurrence relation using generating function. First of all, we will define the generating functions. What are generating functions? So, the definition of generating function is if we have a sequence a0, a1, a2 of real numbers, then any function written as fx equals to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square so on is called the generating function for the given sequence I repeat function fx equals to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube is a generating function for the sequence a0 a1 a2 so on all multiplied a3 minus 5 a2 plus 6 a1 a equals to 2 by x that means if you have a recurrence relation a n plus 2 minus 5 a n plus 1 plus 6 a n we will multiply it with x raised to power n so step 1 is multiply the given relation by x raised to power n so we will get a n plus 2 x raised to power n plus 2 minus 5 a n plus 1 x raised to power n plus 2 plus 6 a n x raised to power n plus 2 equals to 2 x raised to power n plus 2 here the power of n will match with the subscript for example you have n plus 2 so we you will multiply with x raised to power n plus 2 if you have subscript say a n highest a n then you will multiply with x raised to power n if you have a subscript a n minus 1 then you will multiply with x raised to power n minus 1 so here the highest subscript is n plus 2 so we will multiply the given relation by x raised to power n plus 2 now after multiplying it means that we have infinite number of sequence and we are multiplying each sequence according to its subscript we are multiplying a3 with x cube a4 with x4 say so on say a n plus 2 with x raised to power n plus 2 now we need to sum up all these relations so we have summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n plus 2 x raised to power n plus 2 minus 5 summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n plus 1 x raised to power n plus 1 plus 6 summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n x raised to power n plus 2 sorry yeah n plus 2 equals to 2 summation n equal to 0 to infinity x raised to power n plus 2 so we have a n plus 2 x n plus 2 summation a n plus 1 x n plus 2 summation a n x n plus 2 summation you can see that the subscript and power of x matches in some case but does not matches in another cases say here, uh, here it is n here it is n plus 2 so what will be our step 3 our step 3 will be match the corresponding exponent on x to the subscripts of a so by step 3 so here a x n plus 2 matches with a n plus 2 but here a 1 x is extra so we will write at 5 x n equal to 0 to infinity a n plus 1 x raised to power n plus 1 here 2 x x square n equal to 0 to infinity a n x raised to power n and here we will also write 2 x square n 0 to infinity x raised to power n now step 4 is j 
consider a generating function fx defined as n equal to 0 to infinity a n x raised to power n for the solution let this be the generating function for the solution that means for a n x raised to power n we will get plus 6 x square f of x we will start it in on a new page so fx be the generating function the solution therefore 6 x square a n x n can be written as plus 6 x square f of x by definition but in a n plus 1 x n plus 1 the summation start from 0 that means we have to write this equation as fx minus a naught because of this subscript n plus 1 f of x and for a n plus 2 x n plus 2 we will write fx minus a naught minus a1 x which is further equals to 2 x square 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube as we have defined in the beginning this 1 plus x plus x square x cube function is equals to 1 upon 1 minus x so we have the equation as 6x square fx minus 5x fx minus as you know that a naught equals to 3 we will put here 3 and a1 equal to 7 so fx minus 3 minus 7x so this is our equation now step 4 is simple solve it for fx solve this equation for fx so for by solving we will get 1 plus 5x sorry 1 minus 5x plus 6x square into fx equals to 3 minus 8x plus 2x square upon 1 minus x solving this last equation we will get 1 minus x in denominator and in numerator 3 minus 11x plus 10x square where on the left hand side we have 1 minus 5x plus 6x square fx now solving for fx we will get fx equals to 10x square minus 11x plus 3 1 minus 5x plus 6x square into 1 minus x upon factorizing we will get 3 minus 5x 1 minus 2x divided by 1 minus 3x 1 minus 2x 1 minus x so we have upon cancellation 3 minus 5x upon 1 minus 3x 1 minus x so this is the function fx but our main part is to find the solution that is to find a n so to a solve a n we will again solve this function fx as by partial fraction fx equals to 2 upon 1 minus 3x plus 1 upon 1 minus x which is further equals to by expanding using binomial theorem 2n equal to 0 infinity 3x raised to power n plus n equals to 0 infinity 
x raised to power n now you want to find the solution we have to find a n so what is a n a n is the coefficient of x raised to power n if you look at this equation fx this equation fx is a n x raised to power n this is the generating function so when you want to find the a n so simply you have to look for the coefficient of x raised to power n so here coefficient of x raised to power n equals to sorry yet this is 3x n 3 raised to power n plus 1 here 2 so 2 into 3 raised to power n plus 1 here n is greater than equal to 0 so this conclude our result